So we got this MacBook Pro, got another one again. This is the A1989 2018 MacBook Pro. And uh, it's in here because obviously there's no, um, no power. It's not working, it's not turning on. Now customers are more interested obviously, and not just fixing, but also wants to probably get the data off. And so you wanna do that. So let's check out the symptoms. I already have it open, but let's check the symptoms anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little uh, voltmeter here. Let's plug this in, which what this does is going to check um, what's, how the power is reacting when it goes into the laptop, right? Is it acting normal? Is it not? Let's see what we have here. We should be getting about 20 volts and um, some type of ambitch because the battery's plugged in, right? Some type of current. Uh, so we plug it in. We see we're getting about 5 volts and about 0.01 amps. So 5 volts versus 20 volts, right? Something's really going on there. Possible short. Something's going on. Um, took a look at it here. Didn't see anything crazy obvious. A little bit of a splatter. I don't know if you guys can see it just here, like on the battery. Maybe some type of liquid spill or something. But the board looks pretty clean for the most part. But that's why we're going to go ahead, open it up a little bit further, take a look at it, see if the, anything changes, um, see if we notice anything going under the microscope. Let's do that right now because I think that'll be a better thing really to do. Yeah, fall off the screen. Ah. Yes, we're doing a visual inspection. We can see this area is actually impacted. Look at this cap. It's completely melted here. Man, look at that burn. Doesn't look to be completely welded down because of the sides. You take a look, but it looks like mainly just the part on top. If we go to our board view here, we can see this is the C7421. It's a cap. If we looked at both sides, there's a ground and there's PB bus HS CPU. Look around here. You have very similar ones all next to it. This is where the LCD connection is at the top here. We connect that. Okay, so for this one, we need to remove it. It's not completely welded down, but we want to make this a little bit easier uh, for our hot air to remove it. So we're going to be touching up each side, and it's going to help loosen up uh, the solder there. So it's going to make it easier to pop up um, with the hot air. So we're going to be doing that. We're just going to touch each one. Once we think we've got enough there, we can just start pulling it up. All right, that's the bad one. And there would be a good one. That's what it's supposed to look like, right? Okay, so we're gonna put on the new one. Using hot air, flux. Make sure it looks good. Touch up the sides. Let cool down a little bit, spray some alcohol, clean it up, make sure it looks good. Now let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so we replaced it. Let's go ahead and uh, just plug it in real quick. Let's go ahead and see if it's going to work, see if we're getting at least a voltage before we have to work on anything else. So the individual inspection um, looks to be pretty good. So. Let's plug it in. Let's grab this. Cool off a bit. Let's see what it says. See so yeah, it? 20 volts. Looks good. Put it back, and that should be the repair. Okay. Let's fix it. So let's try it. Let's turn it on. Let's see. You know, 20 volts. Amps going up. We got the Apple logo. Looks good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the 2018 MacBook Pro. It's a 1989 model. And you can see, obviously, the, the damage there. We were able to fix the logic board. And that all looks 
works really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.